The event today was quite extraordinary. What we were doing was telling the story not just of the Colossus and how it worked in the war, but through references to most recent material discovered in the archives in Kew, we've been able to really understand in detail the preparations for D-Day and just how much the Allied commanders knew based on the work undertaken at Bletchley Park and specifically through the use of the Colossus computers. I remember talking to uh, Jerry Roberts once and I asked him if he remembered any any of the decrypts that he'd seen in particular and he said well I remembered one uh, early on and it was signed Adolf Spacer Hitler Spacer Führer so I thought it was important <laughs> when I come back here I feel as if I could um, go on watch and do it all again the Wrens, when they were here today, are fantastic. They, they really bring the place to life, and they're the only people that can tell the story of what it was like here. Um, we were staying at um, the Duke of Bedford's place in Woburn Abbey. Um, we had three coaches to drive us into Bletchley. Tape they used to come from Mayhole into the Robinson, ready for us to put on the machine and set about finding out the settings that the Germans had set it. So we didn't really know, of course, that they were Hitler messages, all the um, headquarter messages. It must have been quite extraordinary to hear the detail of what was revealed. Um, for the work that you did that was very compartmentalised, with one exceptional point when Jack Good showed you and spoke about the D-Day. It was naughty. Perhaps, I, I don't know, is this the... Yes, he was a bit naughty. <laughs> One night, the machine came out with a very good, obviously, a breakthrough. Jack Good was on with me, and he said to me, come with me. I went into the next room, which turned out to be the testery, and he looked very, very happy, didn't say anything to me. The next day, I heard that D-Day has started, so I can only assume that he jolly and well got a message. One that's found out that, uh, you know, how much the input was um, in planning D-Day and all that. But, but we knew nothing, of course, about anything. No. I can remember that door when I was still here. I was still um, making machines. I can remember the door opened and the man came in and said the war's over. <laughs> I, you know, sort of at the end of everything, really, you know. It's nice to know that, that people are still interested in doing things and contacting um, people here. Well, it's very, very exciting, and I just find it uh, not enough credit's been given to these people who, I mean, people like Tommy Flowers, who invented the Colossus machine, he never went to a university or anything. He just worked hard as a young boy. So I try to encourage young people today to work hard and do the same. I mean, it's an amazing story. <laughs>